This is a summary of the case when faith counts, an ethical dilemma. Our story takes place in a school setting, specifically a Catholic school, somewhere in the Midwestern United States. This is Louisa's story. When our story starts, Louisa is looking for a job. A key reason she needs a job is to help support her family. She has a young baby. She needs um, health insurance for her baby. And also for her husband, who is a small business owner, so he doesn't have uh, insurance from his job. Luisa feels lucky when she's offered a good job as a Spanish teacher at a local Catholic school. She starts teaching and she really enjoys her job. She's doing well, her students enjoy her, everything is going great. Not only her students enjoy her a lot, but also her boss, the principal of um, the school, is extremely happy with her work to the point that she could be um, ready to receive a promotion. However, trouble is brewing. One issue that is happening to Louisa is that because it's a Catholic school, she is expected to act Catholic. For example, she's expected to be praying a school at the beginning of each class. One critical moment is a day in which everyone at school is supposed to be going for confession. And when Louisa looks around, she realizes that she's going to have to go for confession with her boss. Um, she has to make a very quick decision on whether it would make any sense for her to go for confession. It seems to her to be something she's doing just for show, but she just goes and does it. So here's the gist of Louisa's dilemma. First, is she pretending to be religious? Or... In other words, is her religion just for show? Might she be justified in pretending to be religious for the sake of her students and for the sake of her family? And if the answer to these questions is, is no, should she resign? So here's what I would like you to do. First, Consider the four ethical lenses. You're going to ultimately pick two lenses, but for starters, let me give you an example if you pick one, which would be rights and responsibilities lens. As you may remember, a critical philosopher representative of the rights and responsibilities lens is Immanuel Kant. One key question that you would ask yourself from a Kantian perspective is, what is right always? You might also ask yourself, what is Louisa's duty? Louisa might also consider what would respect people's rights to be kingdoms of ends, in other words, not be used for anybody else's gain or for any other purpose. And finally, remember Kantian concepts of freedom. What preserves Louisa's freedom from the standpoint of freedom from passions, freedom from emotions, and purely looking at this from a reason perspective? After reviewing the key components of the Kantian theory, take a look at the rights and responsibilities lens. So first, log into your ethics game page and once you log in, you may want to go into the area that says ethical lenses and then look for the rights and responsibility lens and read it uh, a little bit more, get more information on it, especially if that was not your primary lens. You may also want to go to the traits area, which allows you to explore uh, each lens on a more targeted way. For example, look at the snapshot area and how you can get a really brief and easy to understand summary of a particular lens. So let me summarize your mission. Consider two lenses and related theories, theories that relate to each of 
these uh, lenses. You're going to have some informal thoughts after you go through all that, and I would encourage you to just jot them down in the area for your online module. Don't worry about how you write it or how pretty it is or grammar or anything like that. Just jot down your informal thoughts. After analyzing the case, considering two lenses and the theories related to the lenses, make sure that you come up with an answer. What do you think Louisa should do and why? And finally, post your response in our virtual community and encourage your colleagues to comment. Maybe they have different ideas from the conversations we may have had in class. The whole point of this exercise is to help prepare you for the final analysis paper. Good luck, and I hope this helps you. Happy learning!